Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 11th of January. James Spann here doing this at a really insane hour. It's like uh, 2 a.m. Uh, up here uh, babysitting these uh, thunderstorms passing through. So far, they have been under severe limits, but producing some small hail. Let's go right to the water vapor satellite view, and that's the deal. The upper low is traversing the state uh, early this morning. Uh, it's centered near Shreveport, and that was at about midnight, and that will be coming on across the state today, keeping the weather unsettled with a chance of uh, lingering showers. And by golly, there might be some small hail from those showers today because the air aloft is so cold with that thing. And colder air is coming. We'll stay in the 50s today, but the colder air north and west of the state moves in here tomorrow. Highs drop back in the 40s, and by Friday, the high only between 40 and 45. There's the watch warning map. Just a few scattered issues around the nation. Wind advisories for the plains. Some winter weather advisories up north. Winter storm watches around parts of the Great Lakes and up in the northeast. And a flood watch for the southern Appalachians. There's the rain for the next five days. And uh, this is suggesting amounts of about one-half to one inch. But that counted the rain we had last night, early this morning. Additional rain today, probably a quarter inch or less. And this is valid through the weekend. And uh, really, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be bone dry. We'll check the modeling here. This is the OZGFS at noon today. There's the upper low right over northeast Alabama. And again, that's a reason we're thinking there might be some showers with small hail today. And down below that, the surface low is north of here. Moisture wraps around that, so clouds, light rain, drizzle will be in the 50s all day. Tomorrow, look at the cold air beginning to come in here, and uh, yeah, come on now. We're going to mention a chance of sprinkles and just maybe a snowflake or two. Look at the RPM. Uh, this is valid at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, and the blue there, that's snow. The uh, critical thickness value is way south of here. So I think we're going to need to do that. The model's been very consistent, and I think that the thickness scheme is correct. So uh, for Thursday, tomorrow, uh, kind of a cloudy, windy, and cold day. Uh, we'll stay in the 40s, maybe some drizzle tomorrow morning, and maybe a few snow flurries tomorrow evening. Yeah. But if that happens, no accumulation travel issues, of course. We'll be above freezing, and it should be light. Friday, cold and dry. Highs, I'd say, 40 to 45. Still pretty... Uh, Good little breeze out of the north. Now, Friday morning will be well down in the 20s. And Saturday to start the weekend, I think Saturday morning will be somewhere between 18 and 25. Colder valleys hit the teens. Other spots in the low and mid-20s. But a sunny day Saturday will warm up to near 50. And there's Sunday. Mid-50s are likely as the thickness values come up nicely on Sunday. And the sky will stay sunny. Monday of next week, we're dry. Mid to upper 50s and Tuesday, there's the upper level look and no cold air with that. And down below that, little impulse produces some light rain Tuesday of next week. The model has actually been very uh, consistent in this idea and we'll mention a chance of showers Tuesday. And obviously with an upper air pattern, the front's going to kind of stop somewhere near here. And that suggests we might see some light rain lingering into Wednesday of next week with a cold air trap to the north. All right, let's check the end of the forecast on January 26th. Troughing to the west and uh, no cold air in sight. Uh, got a strong uh, surface low near St. Louis. Looks kind of stormy and mild, if this is right. So again, you know, these cold sh shots are quick hitting. We warm right back up, and until that NAO flips negative, there's just no evidence of any long-lasting cold snap or winter weather issues here for the next couple of weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.